We do have some really great weather with us today, and that's going to continue as we head through the next couple of days. So let's start it off with tomorrow morning. And the thing we've had lately, of course, has been the fog, but I wanted to show you as we head out the door tomorrow, it's going to be a lot thicker and a lot more widespread all the way through the North Bay, East Bay, even for the South Bay with those areas of drizzle uh, near the bay and also at the immediate coastline. Now it'll clear out pretty quickly here. Uh, keep your eye up there on the time bar by 11 o'clock in the morning. Most of us getting in on the sunshine except for Oakland, San Francisco and the coast. It'll be kind of stubborn tomorrow. You can even see by one o'clock in the afternoon, San Francisco continues to get that fog with some spotty chances of drizzle. So all of this means that we are going to also start off on the cool side and not too many differences here across our microclimates tomorrow morning. Widespread 50s. This will begin us with 56 in the South Bay, Tri Valley at 54, San Francisco with the fog and drizzle coming in with 52 and the North Bay at uh, 52 rather San Francisco 55 daytime highs tomorrow with that cool ocean breeze at our back. It's going to be another day with below average conditions down here to Morgan Hill 80 degrees San Jose 76 Cupertino got you at 77 not too hot for inland East Bay 84 in Antioch Danville 79 going to Hayward uh, 68 degrees. We're also cool off a couple of degrees through the peninsula because you're closer to that foggy breeze. So Redwood City is going to struggle to get up to 70. Palo Alto 73. San Francisco have it at 57 here in the marina. Winds out of the west at 18. And let's move it up to the North Bay. Maybe you're headed to Napa, Sonoma, or Santa Rosa. Temperatures will be in the 70s there tomorrow. I really think we're going to see weather similar to this all the way through Saturday's forecast. Then once we hit Sunday, that's when our new changes come in. We have this hot area of high pressure over the desert southwest. Looks like it's going to expand a little bit more and bring us some heat. So we're tracking heat Sunday into next Tuesday. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to let you know about is if you're headed to Arizona, they are going to get the monsoon rains coming back. So that will bring some flooding rains to Arizona. Let's get a closer look at the heat and it's not nearly thankfully as hot as what we went through last weekend. We'll go up to some low 90s here Monday and Tuesday in Concord, and then it'll cool off after that. So in San Francisco, we'll stay with this trend of 60s for highs, 50s for morning lows with some morning fog, afternoon sunshine. And right here through the inland valleys, as we talked about the heat, it turns up Sunday and Monday just a little bit more. So hashtag goals, the weather over the next couple of days. <laughs> It's been our goal for the past few weeks, so I'm going to enjoy it. You, yes. You got some good goals written down over there? Oh, don't worry, I'm working on them. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff.